Hello Internet, welcome to the second tutorial on Reciprocity Theorem. In the previous tutorial, we discussed the statement and explanation of Reciprocity Theorem. In this video, we'll take up two numerical examples on Reciprocity Theorem and we'll see the significance of the same. The first example that I have taken is pretty simple and straightforward where uh, we need to prove reciprocity in this branch the branch with the 2 ohm resistor and the branch with 2 ohm resistor has a current I2 and this current is there in the branch because of this voltage source of 10 volt connected at points X and Y. So in other words we have uh, E1 as 10 volts and I2 is something that we will calculate shortly and we will see that the ratio of E1 upon I2 should be equivalent to the ratio of E upon I when the source is is it placed at a point uh, where uh, we we were finding the current and we need to find the current at the branch in which the source was located because that is what the reciprocity theorem says so in other words uh, we will need to redraw the network something like this and we will place our voltage source here in the in the branch where we found the current I2 and <coughs> we'll now find the current I or we'll label it as I2 for the sake of simplicity we will mark it as I1 I2 and I3 so in this scenario also our E1 is 10 volt and our I2 is what we need to find and the ratio of E1 upon E2 for this case should come out to be the ratio of E1 upon E2 or I2 in this case so I'll mark it as 2 and if these two values they come out to be the same then the reciprocity is proved and how do we do that that's pretty simple for this case the R equivalent is mm, 2 plus 1 parallel 3 plus 2 3.5 volt I1 comes out to be 10 upon 3.5 which is 2.86 amperes so 2.86 amperes originates from 10 volts voltage source because of the total resistance of uh, 3.5 ohms I'm sorry this is ohms and this is further segregated into two parts I3 and I2 so we can easily find the I2 by current division rule which becomes total current 2.86 which is flowing into this node into the opposite branches resistance upon my own resistance plus the opposite branches resistance so this is 1.43 amperes this is what we are uh, concerned about rather the only thing we need here is the value of I2 because uh, we would not want to prove reciprocity in this branch otherwise we would be concerned in finding I3 also if I was to place this voltage source here then I would be bothered about I3 also but that's not the case so now this is found for this case the R equivalent is I'll 
call it case 2, this is case 1, our equivalent becomes 2 parallel 3 plus 1. Plus two. This is two. So the sum total is four point two ohms. And my I one in this particular case becomes equivalent to uh, ten upon the total resistance 2.381 amperes and this gives me the new I2 to be equivalent to 2.381 into opposite branch as 3 ohm resistance 3 plus 2 so this is if you calculate it this will come out to be 1.3 ampere so which is equivalent to the current in the first case. So if we replace or if we move our voltage source into that branch in which we were finding our current, uh, it will it'll affect the network in such a way that uh, the branch from where we have taken the voltage source will, will start to run a current of the same amount which we calculated in the previous case so <laughs> that is how reciprocity is proved and you can prove reciprocity in any branch of the network uh, for example if I take up this case which is a little more intricate than uh, the one we've just solved So I have a network like this. And I've been asked to prove reciprocity in this branch to show that this network is true for the reciprocity theorem to be proved if I was to take this 50 volt voltage source and place it here so in other words the new network will become something like this my 50 volt source is placed here in this branch just everything remains the same So what do we have now? We, we are concerned about the current in this branch. So this is the current we will find in case 1. And when we move our voltage source into this branch, we will be concerned about finding the current in the branch from where we have moved the voltage source. So the current in question would be this current flowing in the branch from where we have moved our voltage source. So this is going to be case 2. Now this is a pretty uh, straightforward looking explanation of reciprocity, the proof of reciprocity that uh, we, we moved our current, uh, sorry, we moved our voltage source from this branch. So into this branch so we are now bothered about finding current here and how do we do that uh, for the first case the R equivalent is calculated as 10 parallel 10 plus 10 this is branch number 1 this is branch number 1 and this is of course 20 by the way 
so 10 plus 10 parallel 20 and then it is parallel to 10 once again so first we are finding the equivalent resistance of these two parallel branches then it will become parallel with this one and finally uh, when we get the total of all this we will add it to 5 which becomes in series and this will come out to be 10 I will not go into the detail of this and the current originating from this voltage source will become equivalent to 50 volt upon the total resistance 10 ohm which becomes equivalent to 5 ampere so this is case number 1 where the originating cur current is 5 ampere and the current in this branch which which is let us say ix I label it as ix this becomes equivalent to the total current uh, I into the opposite branches resistance which in our case will become the opposite branch uh, of this branch will be this branch parallel to this branch so it will be 10 plus 10 parallel to 20 and of course the resistance of opposite branch is 10 plus 10 parallel 20 plus my own branch is 20 So my I2 becomes equivalent to or Ix become equivalent to 1.25 ampere. So this has to be taken care of when we find uh, current in when we find current in one of the branches of three parallel branches then the uh, resistance of opposite branch is the parallel of the other two branches so this is what needs to be taken care of the numerator consists of resistance of opposite branch so this will be parallel of two branches the rest of everything is pretty simple and if we if we move to the second case where the voltage source is moved into the new branch then the R equivalent again I like to call it that it has case 1 R equivalent and this is case 2 R equivalent the R equivalent will become uh, for this branch 5 and 10 are in parallel so first of all we will deal with this and and it is further parallel with this branch so in other words when the current starts to flow in this branch and it reaches a point here it, it has two branches one is this one and one is this one this branch has uh, a sum total of resistance which can be calculated by calculating 5 and 10 in parallel and this is 10 and 10 in series this is 10 plus 10 in series so more or less this is the tough part just everything is pretty simple and then mm, of course 20 is in series so my total resistance becomes equivalent to 22.86 you can calculate it and <coughs> then uh, simply using the current uh, division rule first of all you need to find the source current the source current will be 50 upon 22.86 that comes out to be equivalent to 2.187 and if you apply current division rule here where Ix uh, will, will be calculated as calculate total current 2.187 into opposite branches resistance is 20 upon 
opposite branch is resistance 20 and my own branch is resistance is 5 parallel 10. So this will again uh, will be equivalent to 1.25 ampere. You could solve it and see it using a calculator. So in both the cases we see that these linear networks with simple resistances and having just one voltage source they behave just perfectly fine for uh, for the proof of reciprocity theorem I hope this clears up the definition and explanation of reciprocity theorem and I'll come up with more examples on AC circuits and I'll cover up maximum power transfer theorem in the next tutorial thank you for watching this one if you like the videos in this series give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing to the channel. Have a great day ahead. Bye.